Hello, I'm Jim Engle, Bermuda District Supervisor. A couple of months ago, it would have been hard to imagine how we are living our lives today. The change this pandemic brought was swift, and it has required an enormous adaptation in how we accomplish most daily tasks. Though we are beginning to see signs of progress in the slowing of the spread of coronavirus, thanks to everyone doing their part heeding health precautions, we know we still have a ways to go. But we are going to get there. Today, though, I want to take a few minutes to talk about a different kind of progress. Progress that's happening in many forms despite the coronavirus. Without a doubt, this pandemic is forcing us to do things differently. But we are still doing things and accomplishing a lot nonetheless. Though this pandemic has delayed many planned projects, we're not letting that halt progress. A quick drive in nearly any direction reveals portions of our economy that are still ticking. One needn't go far to see construction happening, though we may see a softening of the overall construction in the months ahead due to the pandemic still growing in uncertain economic impact. It's heartening to see most projects that had begun prior to the pandemic are still very much alive and happening. We have a couple of shining examples right here in the Bermuda District, including the Baxter Perkinson Center for the Arts in the heart of Chester, where crews continue to build in anticipation of opening this fall. What a great facility that's going to be when we can finally breathe a sigh of relief that the pandemic is over and come together to take in all that it's going to offer. During a time like this, isn't it nice to have something like that to look forward to? Another is a project we call the Route 10 Super Street. It's progress to widen a portion of Route 10 between Interstates 95 and the Rivers Bend area has not slowed. I know plenty of folks who live in the area and are frustrated with the road construction that's going on right now. We just need to keep our eye on the finish line, just like with this pandemic. The innovation of this first of a kind project in Virginia is bringing will mean much more efficient and safe travel along Route 10 in the years ahead. Another project that isn't slowing down involves the Mexico based company Cartograph, a leading provider of printed packaging solutions among many industries worldwide. The company is preparing to erect steel at its new facility that it's building in Meadowville Technology Park. This $65 million investment will be the company's first operation in the U.S. This pandemic has taken a huge toll on jobs here and everywhere else. So I'm excited to see projects like this one moving forward because they're going to help us in the overall recovery. Other projects in the county are also moving right along, such as the construction of the new Crestwood and Reams Road Elementary Schools and a new Magnolia Green Fire and EMS Station just to name a few more. Progress doesn't just take the shape of construction though, it's happening in many other ways. As we've adapted to our current realities, we've also made great progress in growing opportunities for our citizens to access and participate in their local government. It may sound strange, but solving challenges in the virtual world has helped us enhance and even expand how we engage with the public on very important matters. Just one of many examples is the new process for pushing out information to the public about upcoming zoning cases. In addition to staff reports, our planning department has historically made available the week prior to cases going before the planning commission or board of supervisors. We're now producing staff presentations on the cases and making them available ahead of time through a web portal that's also available the week prior to the meeting. If presentations by the applicants are available, we're also pushing them out through the same portal. And because meetings are occurring virtually, citizens may review the reports, watch the presentations, and submit their comments ahead of the meetings through the portal. This process worked well for the April Planning Commission meeting, and the portal will be pushed out again the week prior to the May 19th Commission meeting. It's easy to find on the Planning Department's webpage. Current challenges related to the pandemic have also enhanced how we connect with the public day to day, and we're using every tool we have to keep the information flowing. That includes social media, e-newsletters, the county website, email, television programming, collaborating with local media, and more. 
One of the most important things that we can do as local government right now is keep people informed. Everything I've mentioned represents great progress being made right now. So while we do what we must to stay safe, let's also be mindful of very real progress we are making as a community. It didn't stop. There are a lot of positive things happening in Chesterfield that will have a great and lasting impact long after the pandemic ends. We're not letting the coronavirus block our focus on long-term priorities. We've had to make some adjustments, but it's all part of a continuous planning for better times ahead, and we'll get there. On behalf of the entire Board of Supervisors, thank you. Be safe, check on your neighbors and loved ones, at a safe distance, of course, and God bless.